One of the coolest uh, ideas I came across when I was learning Vim is the idea of relative line numbers. Uh, and you can see I have this set up on the screen here on the right. So as I scroll up and down, the line that I'm on uh, keeps its current line number, but all the other line numbers are relative to the current line number. So this looks very cool, and uh, some people think it makes you more efficient. I tried it out for about a month and just abandoned it because I found it wasn't more efficient at all. I'm going to show you why I don't think it's that efficient. So I'm on uh, line 8 right now on the, on the right screen here, and I want to jump down to the next function. Uh, you get told... Uh, by Reddit that you're not allowed to hit J, 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 um, because that's blasphemy. You're not allowed to do that in, in, uh, in Vim. Uh, so you have to jump down by seven lines. So I hit seven J and I've jumped down there. Now, wouldn't that be really hard to do if I didn't have relative line numbers? How can I figure that out? So I go, okay, I want to jump down to line 15. I'm on line eight. So 15 minus eight, that's seven. So seven J. Great. Okay, but nobody's actually, nobody actually should be doing something like that. So again, on the screen on the left, if I don't have relative line numbers and I don't, don't want to jump down to the next function, I'm not going to do some kind of math. I'm just going to type 15 capital G and I'm on that next function. So without relative line numbers, you just type the line number you want to go to and a capital G and you're there. With relative line numbers, you type the number and a, and a J and, and you get there. So it's, it's really about the same thing. Now, relative line numbers actually have a disadvantage in my opinion, because if I'm uh, showing my screen to somebody and they say, can you jump up to line? So I guess, can you jump up 17 lines? I mean, that, that's just confusing, right? Especially if they, if they don't use Vim. But if somebody um, is looking at my screen with non-relative line and numbers, just standard line numbers, they can say, okay, line 35, I can type it in and there I go. So this, this also works for all, all the other things that you would do in Vim. So if I want to delete this function, I uh, with relative line numbers, I might look and say, okay, D5J, great, and I've deleted that function. Uh, but over here, without relative line numbers, same thing, D13, capital G, and I've deleted that function. So you're not really losing anything by not having relative line numbers. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you find them really useful, you know, of course, keep using relative line numbers if you want to. Uh, but uh, don't feel like you have to, right? Because you don't really get a huge benefit uh, from using them in, in my experience. Also, if you're on line eight and you want to get down to line 15, you can just hold J. Nobody's gonna, nobody, no reasonable person should care if that's what you're doing, right? Now, if somebody wants to help you out and say, okay, you just scroll down a thousand line file um, just by holding J, there's a faster way of doing that, then sure, okay, that, that might be useful. But uh, I use J and K to go up and down all the time it's just very low cognitive load. I just kind of scroll through a file like that, or maybe I'll use a bracket or something like that. But you don't always have to be as efficient as possible with your keystrokes when you're actually trying to get work done. Okay, that's it. If I miss something about relative line numbers that actually makes them way better than I think they are, please let me know because always looking to improve. Thanks a lot.